try some scarlet beans here. They are so beautiful. Oh. I hope they have success. They're massive too. <laughs> Why is my ground so dry? Really need some well tough soil for them. We'll see if that works. These are quite pretty as well. Dry, dry, dry. Like, actually, very dry. All right, I'm about to head inside and I'm going to put together like a charcuterie board, which if you don't know what that is in Australia, I think we call it an anti-pasto board as well. It's just like a selection of cheese and meats and veggies and fruits, crackers, all the things that are delicious and wholesome to eat. I say wholesome way too often. All of these delicious things put together on a board kind of in like a messy and yet planned way and it's just a delicious way to eat a lot of really good food that's really like good for your gut and things like nuts and veggies are uh, in a really fun way so i'm going to go do that for dinner and as i make it i'm going to reflect on the last year that we've had what we kind of want to manifest for the next year or two for us um, and all of the plans and ambitions that we have for our channel our homestead and our lives as well so let's go put this together and let me share what this last year's been like and what we're looking forward to next year. So as far as reflecting on 2022, our second year of homesteading, I did this on our podcast not long ago. It was a solo episode where I compared our first year homesteading to our second. And I feel like in that podcast episode, I did a really good job of kind of reflecting on a lot that went right or wrong this year because a lot wasn't as successful as we would have hoped. So 
go check out Earthly Roots podcast um, to see that reflection on what 2022 was like from my perspective. But to summarize it here, I think 2022 was the year of learning, supporting one another and realizing that we needed to slow down. Come get your veggies, boys. We really went into homesteading really hard. We got lots of animals, we started lots of projects and slowly we built that up, sharing it on YouTube, which we absolutely loved. But all of these things take time along with also working full-time jobs or working for an income outside of what we're doing here. And so we very quickly realized that the pace that we were going in was fantastic because we had a lot of content to share. We had a lot of things that we were actualizing and getting to experience for the first time, which was so much fun. But we realized that if we kept going at this pace, it wouldn't be livable and it would lead to a big burnout for us or just make us want to quit what we were doing. And we truly do love homesteading and sharing it. So we knew that 2022 was the year to slow down and just to support one another in our different ventures. But now let's talk about 2023. And I kind of want to set like a word for 2023, but I haven't come up with one yet. So if you have a word that perfectly encompasses all the things I'm going to talk about, leave it down below in the comments. I want to hear it. But I'm kind of thinking in the way of like expert, like expert or mastering something like that or growth even. So some of the goals that we have set or I have set for us in 2023 is to complete the bus. And I'm going to talk about these goals more like manifestations. So as if this has already happened. So let's pretend we're in 2023 and in 2023, we have our bus complete, complete, fully registered, all the good stuff done inside, ready to be lived in, ready to go on our big trip around Australia after our wedding. And so that way we have a few months to kind of fix any problems, do some trial runs before our wedding comes around in March. And then we're off on our journey in April. 2023 will also be the year of meeting up, meeting you guys, getting to know you, talking to you one-on-one -on -one and hearing your stories. A lot of you talk about how we've inspired you and we've given great tips and all kinds of things and you love sharing in our journey and our story, but I really want to hear more from you guys. And so I hope, not I hope, and so in 2023, we have had plenty of opportunities to catch up and see different people. And if not that, then 2024, the year where we go on our big trip, will be even more that. Our homestead is safe for workshops and perhaps we've even had our very first one, whether it be meat chicken processing or even something to do with bees. I really want to be doing some of the things here that are a bit more permanent. Sure, this might not end up being our homestead, but I still want to put things in place that move us forward in the business of homesteading, the business of what we want to share, our teachings and everything that comes with that. Okay, you guys know YouTube is our home and this year I'm manifesting 10,000 subscribers. A big army of people who are all passionate about the same things, working towards the same things, inspiring one another, sharing what they're doing, mistakes as well as successes. And 10,000 just allows us to get to that next stage of creating products, of working with you guys to give you what you really truly want. Um, whether that's real physical merch, like tops or something way more useful. I'm thinking like pajamas or even gardening equipment, but still haven't thought how I'm actualizing it yet. All I know is that I want to take that step for us. Selling it at farmer's markets as well. I have the opportunity in 2023 to work less in my teaching job and more here on the homestead. And I want to take full advantage of that. In that process, I also will be a master of composting. Our compost pile has definitely been on the back burner in 2022. And so in 2023, we are igniting it. We are getting it back on track, full of nutrients, really understanding the science behind it and putting it to work in the garden beds, which are really lacking nutrients this year and would really benefit from that. 
I know a big goal for Sam is he really wants to make music a bigger part of his lifestyle and his income right now. He's got his own band, but he's potentially looking to start another one. He's been working on his sound knowledge and working with bands to create the perfect sound when they play live. And so I know the 2023 is going to be the year where he's going to make that more of his career, make it more of his focus and really take steps for himself that can potentially be an income moving forward as we travel around Australia. Could you imagine us going on like shows or like almost like a bus tour? <laughs> unintentionally around Australia as we travel and see different people's farms and homesteads and hopefully meet some of you guys. And one more thing that I want to manifest and a goal that I have for 2023 is to support more companies doing good things. We've been talking about switching over our bank and our superannuation to banks that actually support agriculture that are not trying to impact the world negatively and supporting projects which are doing this. So I really want to be further researching into every product and every company that I'm using and I'm exposed to. I want to make sure that in 2023, all the companies that are not supporting the right project or the right steps forward in our environment and in the sense of sustainability, I want them out the door. I don't want to be giving them my time or my money or my efforts. And so 2023, I'm looking more closely at all those products that I am still buying at the shops that I'm unable to make myself and really making sure that the companies are doing the right thing there. All right, and those are my goals, my manifestations for 2023. I really hope you guys join us this next year coming and see all the projects and the things that we are going to be sharing with you. It's going to be a massive year. This really truly terrifies me and scares me because I don't know where we'll end up. But all I know is that this community, this homesteading business, this lifestyle is something that we both truly want to work towards and do for the rest of our lives. And sure, that might look different year to year and as we have a family and settle down somewhere. But for right now, we are just so grateful that you are here with us each time we post a video, each time we ask you a question or share what we're doing. We are so truly humbled and blessed to have you all in our lives. You're, you're our family all around Australia and even the world. And together we are growing and learning. And yeah, I just really thank you guys for all your support this year and the last few years. And I can't wait to see where 2023 takes all of us. Don't forget to let me know down below what my one word encompassing all these goals should be for 2023. Let me know what your word is as well. And maybe some of your goals, I would love to know and hear what journey you're going on next year.